We're going to look at ratios in this video. And what a ratio is, is it's a way that we can compare two quantities or two things that are really the same units. So I'm going to, we've got a bag here of marbles. And I could ask for the ratio of blue marbles to red marbles. What's the ratio of blue marbles to red marbles? Well, we can see that there are two blue marbles here. And then when we do a ratio, we usually have a little colon here to separate the two, the two things. And red, there are one, two, three, four, five red marbles. So this would be the ratio of blue marbles to red marbles, two colon five. And what that means is there are two blue marbles for every five red marbles. And that's what a ratio is. It compares two things that are the same. These are all marbles, so our units are the same. We're talking about number, different numbers of marbles. The only thing that's different here is the colors. So red to, uh, blue to red. We could also do a red to blue ratio. And all that would mean is that the red would come first. So there would be 5, colon, and then the blue is 2. We call these um, a part to part because we're talking about two blue parts compared to five red parts. So we, call, we would call these part to part ratios. And sometimes we can do ratios that are parts to the total. Or sometimes we call this as parts to whole. So if I wanted to do a ratio that was blue to the total, well now my ratio would look like this. There are two blue marbles in here out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what this ratio tells us is that there are two blue marbles for every seven marbles that are in the bag, as opposed to this ratio, which tells us there's two blue marbles for every five red marbles that are in the bag. So let's just summarize what a ratio is. So a ratio then is something that compares two things that have the exact same units. So we're talking here about marbles. The ratio can be a part-to-part -part ratio, so it compares one thing to another thing. That was like this, this example here, blue marbles to red marbles. We're comparing one thing to another thing. And then we can have a part-to-total ratio, or sometimes they call that a part-to-the-whole ratio. And that's when we compare one thing to the total number of things. So like in this example here, we did blue to the total number of marbles. That's two marbles, two blue marbles for every seven marbles that are in the bag. Let's say there are 30 students in your class, 18 of them are girls and 12 of them are boys. Now we could write the ratio of boys to girls. So first of all, I'd have to do boys, there's 12 of them, to 18 girls. So the ratio of boys to girls would be 12 to 18. Now when we're writing ratios, we always want to write the ratios in lowest terms. So this ratio here, 12 to 18, I could divide everything here by 2, and then this would become 6. And when I take 18 and divide it by 2, I would get 9. Now looking at this ratio, it looks like I can divide them both by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So what this means is the ratio of boys to girls is there are two boys for every three girls that are in the class. And that's a ratio in lowest terms. So ratios need to always be expressed in lowest terms. Now if asked to find the ratio of girls to boys, so now I'd start with girls first. There's 18 of those to 12 boys. And again, we would need to reduce this, divide by 2, 
divide by 3, and we get the ratio 3 to 2, which means there's 3 girls for every 2 boys. So these are part-to-part -part ratios, because we're comparing one part to the other part. This one is a part to the whole, though. What is the ratio of girls to total? So girls would be 18. The total number of students in the class is 30. So this ratio is expressing girls to the total number of students in the class. So there's 18 girls for every 30 people in the classroom. Now we can divide everything by 2 to reduce this. And we can divide everything by 3 to reduce one more time. So now we have our ratio in lowest terms and we can say the ratio of the girls to the total is 3 to 5. So that means there's 3 girls for every 5 students in total. Now ratios can also be written as fractions. So see we've gotten these ratios down to lowest terms. 2 colon 3. I could also write this as a fraction 2 over 3. Usually ratios are written this way, but we can express them as a fraction, so 2 over 3. This means that there are 2 boys for every 3 girls. Same here, 3 colon 2. I could write that as a fraction if I wanted to. 3 to 2, 3 over 2. That's 3 girls for every 2 boys. And this one I could write as 3 over 5, which means there's 3 girls for every 5 total number of people. So just, just be aware that sometimes ratios could be expressed as fractions, but generally when we think of a ratio, we have the colon in between the two oops, the colon in between the two values that that we've been comparing. We can even do a three term ratio. Because in this particular example we've got some marbles and there's actually three different colors. So we could ask for the ratio to, of blue to red to green. So blue marbles to red marbles to green marbles. If we wanted to do this ratio, we'd start with the blue. So there's one, two, three, four blue marbles, colon. Red, there are two red marbles and one, two, three, four, five, six green marbles. So this is a three term ratio because we have three different parts, blue to red to green. And we'd always want to write our ratios in lowest terms. So these three numbers are all divisible by two. So dividing them all by two would give two to one to three. So this would be the three term ratio that describes blue marbles to red marbles to green marbles. So there's two red marbles for every one, sorry, there's two blue marbles for every one red marble for every three green marbles. And obviously when there's three terms here, we can't, we can't write that as a, as a fraction. So this would be how we might write a three term ratio when we're comparing three different, different categories. So that's ratios. And the important thing to remember in ratios is that it compares two things that have the same units. We're all talking about marbles or we're all talking about people. A part to part ratio compares one thing to another thing and a part to the whole ratio is when we compare one thing to the total number of things that are in this case marbles in the bag.